This is just going to be a quick update showing how you can protect the corners of your trailer if you're ever doing uh, a repair job like this. The problem with the corners is that two pieces of siding come together and uh, they are held onto the trailer uh, with a large quantity of staples that go through the siding and into the wood. Um, the corners are sealed by a corner trim and the application of a sealing tape such as butyl and uh, actually the corners are probably the most vulnerable location of, of trailers. Most trailers that you tear apart have issues in the corners and that's uh, largely due to improper or weathered or deteriorated uh, sealants. So what I'm doing here is um, just one additional layer of protection uh, in the corners and it's a very simple thing to do. All I'm doing is I'm taking a uh, cons normal construction vapor barrier and it's just just this uh, narrow strip. It looks like this. It normally you know, it goes under, let's see, when you frame a wooden wall onto a concrete basement floor and, and you want to prevent water from seeping up through the concrete and into your wood, that's what you put underneath. Uh, it's kind of cold in most places, I believe. So this is what I'm using and I'm just stapling it on. Uh, actually, first, before I staple it on, I apply... Uh, a good quantity of acoustic sealer. Again, it's a, fl a flexible uh, sealer. It does not dry up like silicone does. It, it remains flexible. And I apply that to the corner on both sides. And yeah, then I, I just stick the uh, vapor barrier onto that. Staple it. I make sure that when I'm going around the corner like this that it's lapped correctly so water will run down and will uh, flow over top and cannot get caught in behind you so this is lapped top over bottom. Uh, make sure that it, it uh, runs out nicely. I'll leave it a little bit longer at the bottom so water will uh, flow down. Eventually this is going to get pushed back like this and then it will run inside the lower piece of siding here and then out. Um, one more step is involved here, uh, the edge or the end of, of uh, the plastic. I bend it over and I staple it such that it forms a, a weld or a channel and that will prevent any water that's flowing in this direction. Say you have siding, uh, a piece of siding pushing flush against the frame here, then uh, that will catch water and it might go, it might have a tendency to go into the trailer or, or uh, into the wall here. So you want to catch that and, and then this is just, this channel is just a little bit of a, of a precaution uh, that will help in preventing that. Um, yeah, you do this around all four corners, the most critical uh, portions are obviously where there is interior siding in the corner. Uh, this is not always the case, but uh, yeah, in most uh, in most locations of the trailer, uh, it is. So yeah, um, just a simple, very simple thing to do. And uh, oh yeah, make sure that that you use silicone or so wherever you punch a hole into this. Wherever you punch a hole into this uh, vapor barrier, that you silicone, such for these wires here, uh, silicone this up so water can't get in. Again, here, same thing uh, that I made a lip. Okay, I need to clarify one more thing about vapor barriers on RV trailers. 
Uh, I I would never ever recommend uh, to use vapor barrier to encase your entire trailer. Uh, you know, for whatever water protection or making it more energy efficient or whatnot. Um, first of all, vapor barrier in this location is uh, the biggest mistake you can make because there is cold aluminum siding sitting right here. And, well, what you are going to get with the warm air on the inside of the trailer, you, you're going to get condensation on your vapor barrier. You are going to ruin all your woodwork and yeah, you're going to be in, in trouble. So vapor barrier is supposed to be kept to a minimum here. The trailer has to be able to breathe. So again, this is just the corners and the uh, acoustic seal is applied in order to have something to embed staples in. Okay, this is not in, by by no means intended to make the, the this trailer airtight or what whatever. So, um, yeah, it's just that staples are going to get driven through here, and they're going to sit in some sort of medium that does not allow water to penetrate. Um, here, for example, I used vapor barrier uh, of. of a wider sheet of vapor barrier and this is only to keep my insulation in temporarily this vapor barrier uh, although I'm gonna leave it on I'm going to slash it there I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna cut slits in it just so that that it can breathe um, and I'm not gonna skimp on those either I'm there's gonna be this is gonna be shredded again it's just just to keep uh, keep the uh, the insulation in temporarily because the wires are running in behind it and they're pushing it out and it kept falling out on me all the time so that's why I put this up so yeah do not use vapor barrier to make your trailer airtight or watertight or protect framing the trailer has to breathe um, no plastic unless in small amounts and only on the corners to keep the water out. Uh, that's pretty much it.